I grew up in Southern California and I've been an environmentalist, I would say since middle school. Um, when I moved to the Bay Area, I really appreciated it. it felt like a much greener culture and also the environment was greener too. Uh, we were, we've been renting until this year. So this year we, um, when we bought a house, we really wanted to um, electrify as much as possible. And um, we have young kids and it was during COVID. So ideally our goal was to do as much as we could before we even uh, moved into the house. Catherine, do you wanna share your intro? Sure. Um, so I'm a homeowner in Redwood City and we also recently bought our house and we're interested in the upgrades that we can make to it. Um, I am, uh, let's call it a newly uh, new environmentalist. Um, it's actually the CEO of my previous company who uh, really started talking about climate change. She even bought uh, every employee a copy of Bill Gates's book, uh, which I read and got very interested in what me and my family could do um, now that we were homeowners, um, went down a rabbit hole of research. Um, so there's, there's a lot you can, you can do. Um, my Instagram feed started changing. <laughs> I was marketed a lot of products um, based on my uh, new Google searches, um, but I ended up uh, figuring out that there were maybe just a few steps that my family could take that would have a really big impact. Um, and one of the largest items uh, was swapping out our heating and cooling and our water heater. Um, and the uh, electrification case study came across um, my desk and I got really interested in what it would look like to have a plan and figure out how all these things could fit together. Um, so that's how, how we got interested. Thanks, and maybe I'll follow up with you, Catherine. Do you wanna um, provide some more details of what you explored prior to taking part in the case studies? I know you did a lot of research and talked with contractors as well. Yes, yes, um, we did a lot of research. Uh, I did find it rather challenging. Um, so after I decided that I wanted to go with a heat pump, I reached out to get bids from HVAC contractors. I called specifically asking for a heat pump. I ended up getting uh, five contractors to come out and visit the house um, of those contractors. So of the five contractors, only one recommended that I actually go with a heat pump. Um, three of them recommended that I do nothing. Um, because my uh, AC and furnace were currently working, so they didn't think I should make any changes, and they had negative things to say about heat pumps, and then one recommended a hybrid system. Um, so I felt like I, if I hadn't been motivated to try and make these changes in my home, um, I would have sort of been steered down the path of not making these changes and sticking with my, um, my old uh, gas appliances. Thanks for sharing that, Catherine. Similarly, Leila, do you want to share what you explored um, prior to joining the case studies process and why you wanted to take part in the project? Sure. Um, so yeah, we explored a lot of things actually. Well, one thing that was easy was, or relatively easy, is we put in ceiling fans because we do not have AC. Um, we we re we had a, an inspection report before we moved in and it mentioned that the both the heater and the water heater could be replaced would need to be replaced sooner than later so we looked into both of those and um, the interesting thing that we came across was that our water heater and our heater are both located on the upper level um, in a closet basically next to the bedrooms and so um, because of the location, it seemed like it would be harder to go for the um, heat pump. Um, and uh, it also would be more expensive and have a lot of rewiring and things like that. So we ended up going with an electric water heater, but we did not replace the heater yet. Um, uh, and then it got me thinking about HOAs. And so our house is part of an HOA. And um, I was really thinking about that, you know, if, um, if heat pump doesn't work for us, what about the rest of the houses? Or is there a way that it can be made to work, but maybe the electrician that we talked to didn't know how to do that. And so I, I began to think that this was really an opportunity um, maybe for Bayren to um, come up with a liaison or a process 
to work with HOAs. And so the, the house we live in is part of an HOA of 49 houses. So if a plan could be made that would be suitable for these houses, it would actually be suitable for 49 houses all at once. And um, it could be basically a plan made for 49 houses all at once. Um, we also ran into trouble with the gas stove. We wanted to replace that. And it looks like um, the wiring for that is gonna be more complicated than I would have liked. That was actually one of the first, my first priorities to replace, but we didn't get to replace it yet. Um, so again, that would be something that would be really nice. Um, like, it, like I said, if there was some kind of HOA Bayran liaison process, um, you know, if a contractor would come into a few of these houses and figure out a way to be able to have them switch more easily, or even if it's not easier, if at least the HOA gives its approval up front, then all these homeowners would have a smoother path and an easier and probably a faster way to make these upgrades. Thank you, Leila. Yes, that's thank you for sharing that. And you know, the fact that looking into this for one home and hopefully can hopefully can lead to scaling and the uh, a liaison is kind of needed to, to work closely with HOAs. Um, I have a question next for both of you, which is um, now that you've been partway through the case studies process, um, you've received some of the bids, learned more about your home. Is there something that you've learned that was unexpected um, or are there additional recommendations and lessons learned that you have to share with homeowners. So anything unexpected or lessons um, to share with other residents? Yeah, I can, um, I can talk about sort of what would be helpful. I think uh, as I started this process, I thought it would be more straightforward. Um, I guess it's been uh, interesting to learn about the system of my home and how those systems are interrelated. Um, and I thought I would be sort of just signing up and uh, it would be relatively straightforward to just swap out my uh, furnace and my water heater. And that it has not been the case for me. So um, I think that was a little bit of a surprise. I think what would be um, helpful is certainly simplification of the, of the information. I think there are a lot of steps that you can take to um, to make upgrades in your home, but I think um, sort of taking the first step and doing something is helpful. And then also understanding sort of the order of magnitude of which steps are going to have the biggest impact to you know my goal of really sort of lowering my carbon footprint um, and what are the biggest ticket items from my box the information and then certainly um, the knowledge of the contractors um, would be really, really. Yeah. Oh, I think you're cutting out a little bit. Can you, can you hear me? Okay, Catherine, I think you might be coming back. Yes, I can. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, it's cutting out a little bit. If you want to um, kind of share your, your last learning, I think we just missed the last couple sentences that you shared about perhaps working with contractors. I didn't quite catch yeah. it. So maybe, yeah. Yep. Okay, Thanks. sure. I can, uh, I'll just finish that point. Um, so yeah, I think just the contractor knowledge. So um, I heard some pretty negative things about heat pumps and electrification from contractors, um, just calling the local contractors in my area. So I think um, making sure that they're knowledgeable on sort of what the intentions are. And it seems like maybe old, older heat pumps didn't work quite as well. And they have sort of bad, um, have had a bad experience for those that have been in the business longer um, with the older style heat pumps. So um, I think some of that knowledge would be helpful because that was my primary source of information when I started this. Great, thank you, Catherine. Leila, would you like to share about this question? Uh, sure, yeah, I was actually really um, grateful to be part of the study because um, uh, as we've been talking about it, you have to look at the overall picture of the electric usage in your house. And that's something that, you know, I as a layperson don't know about. And um, I mean, it, it's a lot of work as Josie and Tom have been through and have explained to us, you know, they went through our houses and they calculated everything so that they could come up with a number in the end. 
Um, so I, I understand that it really helps to have an expert on our side helping us to figure out all of this and then to help. And they were also very respectful in terms of, um, you know, like we had already switched out the water heater to electric, even though it's not the heat pump one. So they tried to work with that too. So um, I think I really saw the value of having an expert on my side helping me through the process.